the job offers in your industry are suddenly a lot lower than they used to be like this person, $20,000 a year lower, what's happening? Well, the market shifted and this is a really important question for me to address with all of you. So you have to think of yourself as a business of one, as a commodity, you're selling your services. And the law of supply and demand will come into effect over the course of your lifetime in your career. So there'll be certain times where your skill sets are in high demand, but there aren't enough people to fill those roles. So what happens? Companies will pay more. They'll pay a premium to get people with your skill sets to do the job. But then what happens is people start to hear about these higher paying jobs. So they move into the market and they get the skills so that they can get those higher paying jobs. What that does is flood the market with talent. Now all of a sudden there's a whole bunch of people with those same skills that aren't making as much as you. And that allows the market to what? bring down the cost of the salaries and hire people with lesser skills who can do the job at a lower rate. And that's what you're seeing right now. All sorts of things like AI, technological advancements, the economy shifts, these things will impact at any given time the amount of talent available in your space and what companies are willing to pay for it. So this says to me that in your market, in your area, companies have come to realize they can pay a lot less and are seeking that talent. My question to you is, one, should you take these lower paying jobs so you have a job and you're making an income and you can start to figure out what new skill sets you have to acquire to get those higher paying jobs again? Or two, can you see a niche already within your skill set that you know a company would still have to pay a premium for and could you start to target those companies because they will pay you the higher salary? This is the kind of strategy you have to have for your career folks and if you're not doing this, you can wake up one day and suddenly feel like, what's happening? Why is everyone starting to you know, pay so much less for the job that I do? It's because of these shifts in the marketplace. So. Be thinking of your unique value add, your UVA, be thinking about the companies that need it most and continue to fine tune your process so that you can get the pay that you want and deserve. Otherwise, you may seriously have to think about taking these lower paying jobs so that you have the income and you stay in the industry and you stay employed while you figure out that next skill move so that you can bring the salary back up. My final word on this is that so many people think that their salary trajectory is like this throughout their lifetime when we all learn what really happens is something more like this. It changes. And so being on top of the trends is one of the ways that you can ensure that you can keep that salary in a forward momentum. Thank you for your question, folks. Questions, comments, I'm trying to help 10 million people on this app this year get new, better paying jobs. And I'm doing that by live streaming as much as I can and giving you as much free advice. Only way I can do that is if you keep asking your great questions, okay? And if you would like to speed up your job search and you would like to work with a career coaching team like myself and my coaches, head on over to Work It Daily. You can try us free for seven days. Good luck, go get them.